What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the basement. We got a nice late Thursday show for you with Age Art Red, our Grand Master of Brooklyn, Liz Art. Liz, thanks for coming on. Thanks for We got a lot to talk about. It's myself and Cheeseburger behind the camera at the moment. We're going to have a little talk. Game of Thrones Season 8 to, uh... Thrones. To the throne. To the yeah. throne. I, I think I got you. I can't remember. <laughs> Oh no. So right out of the right out of the gate. We've been discussing conspiracy theories, if you will. Sweet Jesus. Uh just <laughs> crazy ass fan theories uh, in the interim since last year were on the show. What's up with little finger being alive? Like this motherfucker cannot possibly be alive. <laughs> I mean the way they broke it down. You know, if you go back, I mean, they've been putting the Easter eggs ever since season one. It's like they've, this is one they of those They want this bastard shows. on the throne. Yeah, maybe. And they said it in season one, Varys says, don't quote me, guys, it's fucking late. <laughs> Varys says, Littlefinger would be king of the ashes if it would mean he sits upon the throne. And Danny has a, um, a vision of a throne a of ashes. Now, we don't know if it's ashes or snow, but... She definitely doesn't sit on the throne. She goes somewhere else, and, you know, we don't know what that is. And then um, Littlefinger also discusses how he had family from Bravos many moons ago. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the faceless men come from Bravos. And in Winterfell, when he's trying to set up Arya and Sansa... Season 7, episode 5. Tell him. <laughs> Arya's kind of like following him around and shit. You remember, and you see, you see him talking mm -hmm. to this girl in the stables, and she says something yeah, almost normal, but your time is up. Or they time raise is up. the volume up, and essentially what she says is, "Your time's up." And so, he hands her a coin, what is thought to be a Bravosian coin. So the, the conspiracy is that Littlefinger is alive, and he paid a faceless man to die for him to take his place. Yeah. If this motherfucker's alive, I'll have a goddamn <laughs> oh, stroke. Shit. Well, isn't George R. R. Martin like Littlefinger's biggest fan? Probably. He's a bastard. Right? Didn't he write like, he's just, like his favorite character? He's just such a son I, of a I bitch. wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't Does, be surprised. Did you see that meme going around? It's like, and they all died at the end. Yeah. <laughs> That's my ending. That's how it ends. So Littlefinger is such a. Like, of all the characters, he's really been the most. Um, what's the word? Cunning. Yes, cunning, and he's really fucking evil, because how do you love a woman and then set her up and have her children raped, and then she's killed, and, like, you, that's and not everybody love. Everybody a hobby. <laughs> well, my point is, it leads to the theory that Littlefinger is still alive, is that the devil's greatest accomplishment is that... Is convincing that, everyone that he, that he didn't exist. That yeah. he doesn't exist. So I think that kind of comes to mind when I think of Littlefinger and how he's like, cool, I've got them right where I want them. Shit. But he can't be on the winter for that. He got to be like on a horse on his way to King's Landing by himself Probably. type or shit. Or maybe he's in Brown. <clears throat> Unless he's a faceless man himself, in which case, oh my God. then he's anybody. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> or just nobody. Love, love one of them wild <laughs> theories. And we got another one for you, at the very least. Uh, yes. Gendry just Gendry. might be... Cersei Lannister's long lost son. Yes. So going back to season one, when Cersei goes with um, Robert Baratheon to Winterfell and she has Jamie push Bran out the, the window, the tower rather, um, while Catelyn Stark is at his bedside, she's talking to Catelyn and she says, You know, my young, the gods took my youngest son. And she explains how he had really dark hair, like Robert Baratheon. And I don't think she ever specifically says he's dead. She does refer to saying she never visited the crypts, but she says the gods took him away. And then when Ned Stark goes to visit Gendry, and this is from all the bastards that were killed, mm -hmm. that they showed, that whole montage, they never once showed someone as old as Gendry. Yeah, they show babies. Yeah, yeah they show babies, and... they show yeah. kids. Right. Yeah. But Gendry was really, like, the oldest of all of them. And um, when Ned Stark was talking to him, he was like, do you remember anything about your mother? And he goes, all I remember is she had yellow hair. And she used to sing or something. And she used to sing to and, But he said she was a tavern wench. That was, you know, she was Well, nothing. he assumes. Mm -hmm. But... 
So remember, the, and I don't know if this conversation happened in the show or the movie, or not the, or the show or the books rather, that Cersei said to Jamie, "Do you remember?" When you know we kind of first started, and I used to go to the to the bar and dress as a tavern wench, and you used to take me home. Oh my god, Holy I don't remember none of this I shit. Yo. You know? I heard That's I, shocking to me. That was part of this theory that I heard because I mean I'm I'm not coming up with any of this crazy shit. These mm-hmm. are the things that we've heard <laughs> online, and we're relaying to you guys because yeah, we need somebody to talk to. For fuck's sake, shit is absolutely <laughs> crazy. All we know is that. Jon Snow knows nothing, and <clears throat> Bran, the knows three-eyed everything. Raven, knows everything. <laughs> yep. So I'm Free curious to see what he does this season. Like, is he just, you know, like, how does it work? Can he close his eyes and warg and project everything? Can everyone just kind of sit around and watch as it unfolds? Can he share that? I really want to know if he can share his visions, or if it's just one of those nah, he just relay does it and the information. Take his word for it. That's yeah. It. He could be like um, a total asshole, but yeah. <laughs> he totally could. Yeah. Well, he has no emotions, so he's fucking disconnected to everybody. But now. but going back to Littlefinger for a second, I do want to say that maybe Bran is on to something, or maybe he fu- maybe he slipped up when um, Littlefinger is giving him the dagger, the Valyrian steel dagger, and he says, "Oh, you know, I think you might want this. This is the weapon that they tried to assassinate you with." And he was like, "I can't imagine you coming back. It's chaos." And then Bran stop, cuts him off, and says, "Chaos is the ladder." Mm-hmm. And then when you look at Littlefinger's face, mm-hmm. my God, the way they shoot this, knew. Jesus Christ, he knew he was like, "This is the beginning of the end." And Littlefinger, you, you gotta watch that scene. Little something in there clicks where he's like, "Something I gotta, you know, gotta, gotta get, get out the of gears here. rolling." Have, yep. he, somebody as smart as him plan. gotta have Plan B, C, and D. Yes. Yep. Absolutely. So he gotta be prepared for all the way through Z. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I mean, as far as theories go, this, this, these past year and a half, two years, I did not indulge in any theories. This is the first time I'm hearing about the Gendry theory, the little finger theory, because I just I'm like a psychopath crack addict that was just <laughs> sniffing I around. Couldn't, I couldn't shit. do it to myself. I couldn't do it to myself. I was like, no, 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 I can't. But I think. But now I'm being, like, cool. Like, even when the Avengers and shit with Endgame, you know, coming out in a few weeks, now they're just dropping little yeah, snippets here and there on TV. Now. Like, yeah. Same with the one America, whatever. Same with Godzilla. I already... I see like, that, yeah. They've been showing a lot of stuff on Godzilla. But Godzilla's not for mad long. Like, they, they got till, I think, November or something before that. No, I dropped. thought it was the summer. It's, is it the summer? It's next month. Oh, May, yeah. Oh, is it? Next month, yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was next month. G- yeah, Godzilla King place. Kong is... It's like, it's next, like year. next year. So, yeah. shit. so who do you got on the throne? Yeah, really. I'm not going to say because I'm scared that if I speak it into existence. Okay. Wait, no, no. <laughs> if you speak it into existence and you happen to be in a Deadpool or three oh, at all. Oh, shit. You... The Deadpool. We got to put money in <laughs> okay, so Is there a we Deadpool? Gotta put money this is who I have out dying. There. I definitely have um, Cersei dying, which is going to make me sad. I definitely have Daenerys dying. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um... I want to say, I want to say Arya. No. Um, yeah, but I feel like she's such a fan favorite. I have but Tyrion and Arya. He... They're untouchable. I think so. They're yeah. not gonna fucking die. I think we may oh. think Tyrion dies a lot. But... Yeah, but nah, he will always get out of it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. He's come close a lot. Mm-hmm. I love him. He's my blah 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 blah. Yeah, I like I like him right. a lot. You yeah, can't yeah, admit yeah. they can hear. Yeah, him. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, I actually wound up like seeing some sort of major spoiler, and I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm just like, <gasps> makes oh sense, God. though. Uh-oh. And it hurt, it, it hurt. I'm so like, damn, I didn't want to see it. I didn't even want to see it. Say it. No, 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 I'm not saying it. Right I won't, nope. <laughs> I won't do it to it. I won't do it. Come on! Okay, okay. Um, what, I, what I'm saying is that we all have to come together and not spoil it for all of them. Like, you know, like, don't go to the water cooler on Monday because maybe your friend didn't see it on Saturday. Uh, I'm fucking fun. lying. Go right to that water cooler and talk about it because they should have yeah. seen it all of Sunday. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might call out of work. I want the fucking no. Night King to win. I do too. Uh, I want everybody Stop. to die. No. No. Get wrapped this rant. whole, get wrapped this whole fucking story and put a period on that shit. Night King wins. Everybody's dead. That's it. Let them do a million prequels. As long as I know this story has an ending. Why do you hate Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> but just there, 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 
sounds like two different prequels. So fuck it, they're gonna keep making their money off of the show. Bro. I'm with him on this because <laughs> as a, as a child, I rooted for the likes of Bluto and Shredder and yeah. all of, like the cool villains like this Galleon. Is the this Even is the chance we got where the villain has a shot of you winning. Look, so you, when you watch wrestling, you always with the for the heels. Yes. Yeah. Always. always. Yeah. The always Rock was the Piper. best when he was cursing out the fucking fans. I love fans. Roddy Piper. You trailer park trash. Let me put this. Let me put this in perspective for you, all right? Something you'll understand. I'm playing the fucking game. I have to get through the game. Mm-hmm. But throughout the game, I'm rooting for Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> in the, in the um, season 8 trailer, though, of Game of Thrones, there's a scene where they... Well, they show it a lot. They show so many snippets of people in Winterfell looking up at the two dragons flying. I right. really think the reason why they're doing that is because John mounts one of the dragons i think that's and the say. dragon that he mounts is actually the one that's named after his father so it would make sense it's poetic justice and all mm. um, see I, I want a lot of these crazy fan theories to come true i do too my only like the, the only reason i'm having trouble believing that they can happen is because there's only six episodes left and yeah. it's really hard for it's me to believe lot to wrap up right yeah. and a lot like do you want to start a whole new Potentially fucking awesome story. I don't want them to leave it open ending like, oh, like, maybe, maybe something happens with right. this guy. We'll and it'll never, never fucking nah, happen. Fuck we'll no. And like the Sopranos. Stop! No! <laughs> oh my God. No! Oh, they all had a diner. They all had a diner in King's Landing. You, you gotta take a lap for that shit. <laughs> or like Seinfeld. Everyone goes to jail. Seinfeld at least had a funny, stupid, ironic ending, which was the the basis of the entire series. Yes. Stupid irony. Game of Thrones cannot end that way. I don't no. mind if it ends with the Night King and everybody's yeah. fucking dead. I'm everybody's totally dead. cool Fuck with you. it. But he be- has to be revealed as Bran Stark, a time-traveling, warging Bran Stark who got stuck in the body of the dude that was about to become the motherfucking Night King, oh, and now he's stuck there, shit. and he hates everybody for making him go back to see who the fucking Night King was in the first place, oh and it was God. him. <laughs> Fuck you, time travel. All Fuck right. you, Ramon. Oh, you right. love travel. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're on this bizarre fucking topic, <laughs> let me just throw in, and maybe oh, Tony shit. Stark can go to Winterfell, and Doctor Strange can tell us all a million yeah, ways to play yo. out. Get the Fuck out of here. <laughs> we only win one, Liz. Oh, my. I, so we put um, Red's father on recently, and he, yeah, in like a month, Killed he it, finished yeah. all <laughs> the season. Damn. He caught up. I said, look at you. You so fucking lucky. You just gotta get to sit down and watch the last season where we've been waiting years for this shit. We went years, all this shit playing out. He just binge watches the whole shit. Every days. time one episode finished, it would drive him crazy that it was like a to be continued. But I mean, I was like, this is this is what it is. Yeah. It's a long story. Yeah, you look, you don't gotta wait a week every episode. But right. him watching yeah. Game of Thrones, I mean, him watching the Red Wedding was classic. Yeah. Just him sitting there at the edge of his seat. This man you that. has seen some shit. <laughs> but watching him watch the Red Wedding <laughs> was like. He just couldn't fathom it. He yeah. just couldn't. You guys are gonna hate it. me, but I only got up to like episode five in the <laughs> first season. And you lost, but you got it. you got to muscle <laughs> bro, through season bro. one. Yeah. There's a yeah. lot of introspection. You're getting into I was like, a lot hey, of people, not a lot of shit dead? happens. Hey, that guy. Well, why is that true? I, oh, so um, one of the questions on the post from mm-hmm. Game of Thrones was from Kate, and she says, um, "Oh yes, it was a really good question, and it was, God damn it." It's good. I can cover if you this could, thing. if you thanks, something along the lines of if you could recast any of the members of Game of Thrones, who would you recast and why? And I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of crap for this. Oh yeah, this should be good. I would recast um, Amelia Clark as Daenerys Targaryen because I really? feel yeah, only because I feel like in the beginning she was great because she she plays. The damsel in distress really well. Mm. And I just feel like Amelia Clark just naturally, you can see it in her eyes and just in her persona, her vibe. She's just a sweetheart. Mm. So when in Game of Thrones, she's trying to like, you know, be this queen and be this, you know, top bitch. And I just feel like it's it's not convincing to me. Even after all these seasons, yeah. I'm still not convinced because I'm like, yeah, but you know. So who would you have recast then? You don't mind before I before mm-hmm. we you answer the recast, I'm just gonna 
You yeah. wanna... You follow now. <laughs> Just for a second or so. <laughs> Do you think your opinion may be slightly yeah. biased? Yeah. Of a tad skewed because of your affinity for Cersei Lannister? Not so much Cersei, House yes. Lannister. Uh-huh. And you know my theory there. But, um... I do love Cersei, and no, it, it's really not, because, um... I'm only messing with you, but I would like no, to... No, I know, I know, I know, but... <laughs> I just, I just feel like Amelia Clark as Daenerys Targaryen. She's, that's it. She's iconic. Like, yeah. she's the Princess Wait. Leia of this generation. Yep. It is what it is. That's bold, but okay. Yeah. I know. That, that's, yeah. That's, 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 Anybody that's, that hasn't seen Star Wars or like born in the nineties, this is this is their shit. True. This is yeah. Their Star Wars. It is. Yeah, you're it right. Is. This is their yeah. the saga. This that is like is, the big event. Yeah. Yeah. It was like we had Lord of the Rings, but that was short lived, and now we have Game of Thrones, and Game of Thrones is just going to be one of those cult classics. Yeah. Like People can there be yeah. conventions. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh wow. They're they gonna have to that. start making some better yeah. ass toys because their toys suck. <laughs> so um I didn't give much thought to who would re who I would recast her, but I would say um shit. Again, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. I can't remember the actress's name, but she played the witch in Suicide Squad. And oh. she was also oh, in yeah. the uh, the Evangel the Evangel yeah. Evangel Cara Delevingne <laughs> I it? pulled that out of my ass. You, <laughs> you don't have to Google that shit. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So, um, so her, I, I would, I would cast her as Daenerys Targaryen because yeah. she can pull off sweet and innocent, and she can pull off I will rip you inside out. She definitely pulled that be. off in Suicide Squad. That's for sure. I um, definitely can't rip actually off agree with you. Eyebrows, though. Yes. Can't, can't actually agree with you. This is a good choice. She cannot convince me. So. Meter. She looks like a mean bitch. She she looks like she can play the victim, and she also looks like oh, she, she can... Oh, she was in, um... Suicide the, Squad. The other, no, the, the other, I know the, the space space Oh, yeah, the other yes! space one. That was yeah. good. Uh, what, was what the that? fuck oh, was that? Jupiter Rising? The, right? no, 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 the City of a Thousand Planets? Yeah. 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 That's no. Valerian. 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 Yes, Valerian. 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 Yes, Valerian. 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 French comic or something? Some shit, yeah. Yo, I've been wanting to see that movie. Every time I watch that movie, I fall asleep. It's good, though. It's that movie is in Blade Runner 2049. I fall asleep every time. And I try to watch them. I'm interested. I'm invested. I'm like, this is great. I'm having a good time. And I just fucking pass out. Sober. Sober. What? No. I like I like the no names because my thing is anytime I see somebody that I recognize or a familiar face, it connects me to what Something I know them from. They did, so like if they would have threw Bruce Willis in, I'm like, oh, you be Kaye, motherfucker. <laughs> so that just takes me out the whole Game of Thrones oh. world. You mentioned something uh, a couple weeks ago about Paul Rudd. Do you know what his first gig was? It not, wasn't on Friends. It's not Close, right? Uh, no, his, no he did a commercial. Like commercial, yeah. All those guys. He did stars. a Super Nintendo commercial when the wow. Super Nintendo. Wow. Yeah, that's no right. Shit. I did see that. Wow. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, playing, that's funny. He's playing it with the Super Nintendo when it first when it first aired like on TV. Like fucking ninety four. He's playing it. I'm like, wow. Um, All right, I have to say, like you, I'm probably gonna catch a bag of shit for this, mm-hmm. but I would recast Jon Snow. Actually, mm. that's understandable. Yeah, because he got the same stupid face. <laughs> 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 um, I would obviously, I mean, let's face it, Kit Harrington is kind of short, and you don't really like they do a good job of filming it, but yeah, yeah. like, you know, you need somebody with a bit more stature, Girls. yeah, especially when they he's like the Wolverine of this shit, he's the best. There is that what right. he does, and like I would actually, I would almost consider casting him as a young Wolverine, not Wolverine, Wolverine. But if they did like an origin kind okay. of story, he could be like mid-range Wolverine, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, fucking like twenty something when he ran away from the mansion and shit. And I know probably there's mad people out there, but Pete, you're short. You should be respectful of Jon Snow. You should be respectful. <laughs> <laughs> the other short people. Yeah. And I'm just saying, like, I, when, you know, when I think of myself saving the day and killing people and shit, I don't think of myself as being five foot six on a good day. I think, of, I think I'm up there somewhere about, like, six two. So, yeah, that's why I'm saying maybe they should recast him. And if you can't get somebody of, you know, of the stature, I think you should get somebody who exudes that stature at the very least. So I would recast Jon Snow as Joe Pesci. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Um, you ever see that movie that he did on Yo, HBO, so Seven Days of Hell? <laughs> nah. It's a uh, Yo, mockumentary. I was really intrigued. Of, uh, I was like, I'm he plays a tennis player. Can you tell me and 
He was raised by his mother who was home school taught by Kate his mother. Kate Harrington was in this movie? And it's a mockumentary about tennis. No. And it's fuck. Watch it, it's hilarious. Because, mm. and, but if you want to see Kit in a funny movie, watch you it. Gotta, it's only like. <laughs> 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 but why was there another top on it? Wait a minute. Why did you get all the top? I don't understand. What kind of magic trick was that? Am I still bugging out all day? I've been bugging out. Yo, this is true. All day crazy shit has been happening. Well, since I linked up with him after work, literally the craziest shit is going to the... We went to a burlesque show on the Lower East Side that was Game of Thrones themed. Hilarious. Jamie Somebody Lannister. Somebody cast a spell. A lot of fun. Yeah, but he because then he goes, why do I feel like I'm walking in Grand Theft Auto right now? Like in a video game. <laughs> that was crazy. But it really was. Well, where were you? It really was. Right. Lower East Side. Uh, Orchard. 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 Oh wow! Yeah, you're by the way. Oh, yeah. and the burlesque <laughs> show was awesome, by the way. This guy, just like Jamie Lannister, was um, hosting, was and someone in the crowd yelled, "Show us your stump!" And it was. <laughs> 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 oh man, it was it was fucking good. It was great. It was a good show. But um, fuck, where was I going with this? Whiskey, no, that. Out crazy shit dough. that's been happening. Yeah, okay. yeah there was like a. I don't, why were they two caps on the fucking Jameson? I'm sitting there pointing like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't smell anything. Son oh, of man. a bitch. Yeah, you gotta so, see if, that's, if that was real when you review. The other person I would recast though <laughs> is, uh, again, I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this. Arya Stark. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I think that, um... <laughs> I'm going to hell. <laughs> oh, do tell. Go on. Go. Do her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to get hate mail for this shit. Do her eyebrows want to try out for the role? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even in the show. Like, I know the it's show supposed to be in show. now or some shit, but... Yeah, like the show within the show. They were like, oh, do you ever try being different people? Would you ever try being like, you know, like, essentially asking her if she'd want to be an actress? And the woman says, you have the eyebrows for it. And I remember thinking, she does. It's funny, but I don't know who I would recast her as. And the only reason why I say is just because Maisie Williams is just, for me at least, a little difficult to look at and just watch. She's just so she's well, so she's in got the that books. Tomboyish stuff, right? Yes, she is tomboyish, but in the books she's supposed to look like a fucking horse. Okay, that's how they describe her looking. Like really? nothing about her. Yeah, nothing about her is attractive. She's got I a long, that... ugly face. She's just, she's just a well, I little girl. Face. That's yeah, funny. but um, <laughs> but I just. Well, feel the other like girl's ugly not... too. Fucking Brienne. No, she's not though. No, in the books, I mean, she's, she's like. To be. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the no, woman is like they dull her down for the show. Like yeah. I seen her at the premiere. Not oh, yeah, it wasn't there, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw. Holy shit! She well, she was actually different. she was actually on a daytime talk show. Um, the today was a film segment, but she looks fantastic. You know, beautiful woman. You know who looks fantastic? Who's like sexy yeah. fantastic? The woman priest who dressed up and was shame. Shame. Yes, she really does. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> yeah. She is. She is. I was really shocked. I, I couldn't like, believe that shit. Mm-hmm. She's, she's Mostly because I'm a derelict and I'm looking these things up. And I'm sorry, Red, I forgot that I didn't let you know that. Oh. See? The girl, oh, wait, wait, shame wait. actress. Shame <laughs> actress? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well just pop that up on screen for you, you two. Go. Shame actress. Wow. She's, yeah. she's cute. Yeah. She's stunning. She's cute, yeah. Good word. Nobody throws that word around enough no more. Stunning, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, I use it all the time. So now, time. is it the next six weeks is Game of Thrones, or is it taking that's a break? It. Is it no, starting this Sunday. I'm saying, that the, are they not like taking off for uh, Easter or nothing, right? It's nah, just like, we're we'll powering through this. It'll be done before Memorial Day. Wow, man. The last it's only six, six weeks. Oh, damn. damn. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, my you're gonna be a fucking mess. I am. Last season, the last season that aired, I think it was the, the it was the last episode of the last season. Opening credits start to play, start and I just start bawling. Okay, I'm sharing this with you guys, but I start <laughs> fucking Peace bawling. Peace a safe place. Yes, we can talk guys. about these things. So I start bawling, and Red grabs me, and he goes, "Is it because it's?" The beginning of the end, and I, was like, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I knew, I knew as much as he likes to joke around, he was really sincere, and That's I cool. was just like fucking drowning in tears. And I was like, it is, it really is. And so, yeah. it out. Do you remember the last time you got this like emotionally attached to a character? Ooh, I'm gonna need some time. Or even like, or a TV show, not just a character in general. 
Like the series that you were so upset to see end? Pokemon. When I was a, I when I was a kid, asked. the fucking Spider-Man. Because they ended it on a fucking they, they, How fucking pissed off that's are you? That's why I want this shit to end fucking with a stamp on it. And that's it. Don't yes. open that bitch again. <laughs> like they're looking to fucking put that shit on uh, Disney Plus and everything. And I'm like, end it. Bring yeah. it back. You can Bring put that season. same animation one season. Just yeah. Yeah. Absolute said, wait it. till the um, season finale of Supernatural. Oh shit! Yeah. I, my friend Maria is gonna be seasons? inconsolable. Oh my god! Absolute says, wait till the Supernatural finale. People will be sobbing. Yeah. Yeah. Kate says, end game. People will be crying. Yeah, Who will you have on the throne? That's, right. that's what I want to know. I got. Right. I want. I want the Night King. To win it all, and that's it. Let's wrap this. Let's wrap this shit up. I Who want, do I want on the throne? Who do you want? I would like to see because I'm I'm a traditionalist. Um, you know, the Final Fantasy fan. I want the hero to win. I want to see Jon Snow Jon on Snow. the throne in a very tragic undergoing because yeah. there's something about because you know he doesn't hide. Hide. He has to kill his wife or something, yeah. and if he and Danny hook up, that means he, and he's like, it's gonna be Jon Snow raising his and Danny's kid. Oof. That's where I think the That's like is. the ultimate Pyrrhic victory. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's that's gonna ha- be bittersweet. That's, 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 ha- be... that's the only happy ending in this. Right. Right. But yeah. I think it's gonna because it'll still be bittersweet because Danny had to die. That's yeah. why I think yeah. it's actually the ending that's gonna happen. But since Ramsey Bolton, ever since Ramsey Bolton said it, if you're watching this and think th- and you think this has a happy ending, then you haven't been paying attention. I know. Ever yeah. since he said that, I was like, yo, fuck this shit. But show. it's like, I can't oh, imagine. Everybody <laughs> dies. I'm not getting attached you can't, to yeah, no you more can't. characters. Yeah. Fuck everybody. <laughs> I remember my favorite, one of my favorite scenes was when uh, the Hound was fighting Brianna Tarth. Mm-hmm. And that season was so good because they showed the Hound and how he is with Arya and everything. And right. he rooting for him. Good, that was a good and one. I remember watching, the sh- watching that episode and they're fighting. And I'm like, yes, I'm rooting for the Hound. Oh. Yes, let's go. Kill that bitch. Fuck that. And I, I see myself rooting for this character, and I go, holy shit, he's going to fucking die now. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm so invested in the hound he himself. that I said, he's going to fucking die. And, and I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he was like, you don't see? You don't see my reaction right now? This is what they want. <laughs> I was like, It's Whoa. true. It's true. Yeah. Um, that scene was so good, man. I really was hoping to see... Tyrion on a dragon, but then the Night King shut that down because that was the only dragon I saw him riding. Can I draw back real yeah. quick on that note to last season when we did this and we were talking about what was going to be the final episode? Mm-hmm. And I told you, Oh, the ice dragon. I thought it was going to happen. And you totally but then called I, it. I, I did call the ice dragon because it was, but that, if you the like Final Fantasy and shit, shit, you know it was going to happen. Yeah. Like that's, that's like the ultimate, you know thing like he's got a fucking another dragon too but do you remember for the final episode after we saw the ice dragon and i was like it's gonna be crazy ice fire ice fire and you're like what the fuck does that mean i'm like i don't know that's exactly what the fuck the dragon was yep. yeah. cold flames it really it was like it really was. It was like the shit you put on drinks to make it look real cool. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what is happening? But I mean, I'll take well, it. Well, listen, yeah, when, you get, when you get hit with cold enough blast, a cold enough blast of air, it burns I mean, yeah, like it your burn. right, yeah, yeah. fire. So, and it's, it's funny just, because when you get hit with a hot enough blast of air, it's cold. Like yeah. touching a popsicle. Can yeah. One more, please. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, no, no one's watching. But how? Oh, fucking no, bizarre. Sorry. It's going to be so... Oh, okay. Let me get something. It's going to be so fucked up when... Obviously, they're going to have the... D de- dethrone the Night King from Viserion, right? Is that how you say it? Viserion, whatever. Viserion. Okay. Yeah, Viserion's good. So they thro- they dethrone him, not, not basically they just fucking knock him off his steed. So now it's John, it's Danny, it's all of these cats fighting with the Night King and the Army of the Dead. But meanwhile, there's the Ice Dragon still flying around, oh my and God. it's obviously. I think there's going to be a ground battle, and I think there's going to be a really crazy air battle air with just battle. the dragons. Oh, my God. Where you see the two of them, like, yelling, like, doing that <laughs> screechy shit, communication yes. shit, talking to each other that they got to burn their brother, and they fucking oh set God. his ass on fire. That shit'll be wild. Hire me, motherfuckers. I just have that shit for you. I just 
<laughs> it's already been, yeah, but it's already been written. So. Yeah, where that scene is shot, filmed. That scene is that scene. This shit. They definitely up. like had some device on my head, stole my idea before I even had it. <laughs> That's definitely like fucking episode five. Yeah, but I. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, oh, man. I'm not fucking ready. Hey, I, like I said, I didn't. Give us somebody on the throne. Who do you want, at least? I want Tyrion on the throne. And okay. the reason why I say it is because John does not want it. He doesn't want it. No. Daenerys does not make it. Mm-mm. Cersei is going to be dead. Sorry. I want Tyrion hand? to be on it. But I think... I want Arya to kill Cersei. Yeah, I think she's got it. I think she does. But you, she does. you said Jamie. I think she does. You said Jamie. Because had the it. prophecy. Okay, Yo, so the up? prophecy is Cersei was told. Remember, she went to Maggie, the witch, and she tells her, you know, your three golden crown children, black shrouds, basically saying your kids are going to die. Yeah. And she also tells her that she's going to, she's going to die by the hands of her younger brother. Cersei has it in her head that that means Tyrion. But I have the theory that Tyrion's not really her brother. So the only brother she has is Jamie, and Jamie's her younger twin brother. So I think Jamie will kill her. Or Arya uses his face because we've seen mm-hmm. that you can use faceless the face of pers- of a person who's still alive. Mm-hmm. So I think she could even do that where she'll the same way she went as Ooh, Bold and Frey, she can be Jamie. Jamie, but Aria as Jamie. Oh, so I like that. In, in, a, in a sense, <laughs> that would be the sick as is still fuck. That would be crazy. It's yeah. still true because and I, it still I don't blows Cersei's to... mind right yeah. before she gets iced. Yeah. 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 And I mean, they um, and I think the way he does it is they, you know, he he chokes her out. I think he's he he strangles or she her. strangles her because there was that foreshadowing where they were standing when they were speaking. They were standing on the Westeros map on the ground, and she was standing on the map where it says right, um, the neck. neck. Right? And Jamie uh, was standing in the part of the map that says the fingers. So I think that's, you know how Game of Thrones likes that to put little... little foreshadowing yeah. out there. So, um, Until it's like, fuck you, we're not even doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Asshole. Yeah. 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 Brad, Bradman think, says, yeah, that's a very relevant theory and everyone's going with it. And I think... I what, think the Arya is Jamie? Yeah. Or Jamie killing... I think so, yeah. Ja- well, basically, whether it's Arya or Jamie, Jamie killing. So yeah. Cersei's fucking... And the thing is, though, is that, you know, it's going to be a weird thing if it is Arya because she's going to strangle her with both her hands. She's uh, only got one. Yeah. True. So... So, um... I mean, yeah, but... Not, not to say that it wouldn't be able Tyrion, to snap her neck with one hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was. I mean, but you think you could faceless man even and fucking gold, 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 gold know, hand, you could fucking... So in the books, they when Tyrion strangles Shay, he actually, they describe it in wonderful detail. He used a gold chain that was actually made of hands that held each other. So it was golden hands that killed oh my her. God. Mm. So, I mean... If you've got a golden hand, you just put the pressure on hard That's enough. It. I'm sure you can get the job done. But um, it, yeah. But what I was going to say is, I think it'd also be kind of poetic if Jamie took the throne and Tyrion be his hand. Ooh. Because John doesn't want it, and I think John learns the same way he trusted Tyrion, and he knows. You think he runs off as like the unsung hero into the woods? Yeah. To, like to cast He goes back to the people. north, and he becomes the king of the north, and Jamie becomes the king of the south. And I think that mm-hmm. um, the way that if if they do put it out there that Jamie is actually a Targaryen, he does have a right to be there because the Targaryens came before the Baratheons. Mm. And in the in the book that just came out um, about the the history of the Targaryens, they have um, they explained that the Lannisters and the Targaryens always had a really strong, strong relationship. Mm. So the relationship we see with Tyrion and Jaime might not necessarily be because they were raised as brothers, but because naturally Targaryen and Lannisters just always had that bond. The way that Baratheon and Starks had that bond. Right. So, um, a lot to think about. Yeah. 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 Shit. So what as happens much as when Jaime goes (coughs) to Winter? He's on his way to Winterfell, right? That's where we love Jaime at? Yeah. What happens when he sees Bran? For the first time since he pushed him on the fucking right. Well, Bran can't hold any grudges, and Bran knows what's better for the <laughs> realm, right? yeah. and he knows that's probably God he damn. didn't know it. But, but he Jamie probably knows it's right. better. Jamie don't know anything. Jamie's gonna no. be like, oh, I, I got to kill this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. No, he won't fucking... do that. He won't do it because <laughs> he'll probably <laughs> he'll probably say something to Bran, and Bran will be like, I'm not that person anymore. I'm the three-eyed raven, bitch. 
It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, yeah. like to like him, you don't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah like basically. that that was a small little quarrel. Like that doesn't yeah. that's so insignificant oh to God. the history of the world does not matter. Yeah. So like if Bran is basically like the Dr. Manhattan of Game of Thrones at this point. Like yes. he's just so indifferent to everything. Like, fuck all this yeah. Shit. yeah. Minus, Ooh. you know, the whole like poofing out of existence powers. At least not yet. <laughs> if you're gonna be well, if you're gonna be here every week, you should do like Predictions for each episode. Like, what do you think is gonna happen? Right, the so season the premiere episode, is this Sunday. Yeah. What? Who dies? Or what happens? What Ooh, big event? Okay. Oh shit! All you right. know, somebody's. So there's gonna what? be major deaths every episode. I'm saying that. Um, I'm saying the first thing we're gonna see is is the battle at Winterfell. You think from the jump? Jump. I think we're gonna jump. I right thought that was like episode three. Yeah, because it's like the longest recorded battle of all time. <laughs> right, that's what they. That's that's what they they're bragging. That. They bragging about it. They said they, they filmed for like forty five days. It's like longer battle scene than the fight but in Lord of the Rings. Yes. Yeah, longer than the fight at. But if, Lord uh, of the, if the second Lord of the Rings was three hours, and how much so of that, that movie scene was, was the fight like scene? Forty five minutes. It was, was it? it was a little over an hour. hour. It probably right. it was a little over an hour. Are you sure? I'm gonna go there back go. and watch. I mean, that. with the director's but cut, they had a little bit extra after after the Riders of Rohan with Gandalf at the helm, kind of charge in and send them past. Wasn't that much? They fucking roused they, them into the trees. Yeah. Well, they added that there was that extra couple minutes of footage where the yeah. trees actually fucked everybody else up right. once they got into Fangorn Forest. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. Even in so. Infinity War, like when we went to see it, like a couple couple weeks ago, I was like, ah, oh, let me just watch the last fight scene in Infinity War. That shit was like it's over bit. a half hour. I'm yeah. like, damn, this is a lot longer than I thought. I thought it was going to be like 20 minutes. I'm like, no, that whole fight scene of Wakanda we in the back and forth of Thanos. We couldn't I was like, no, nah, I'm watching this shit. Watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but now, you know what? Now that you say, I do remember um, reading that and so... Yeah, you're right. It can't. They can't. It can't be the first episode. So then, first episode has to be Jamie gets to Winterfell. Let's. It's probably what we just discussed with J- Bran and Jamie and like just all the and then Jamie and Tyrion because they had their little talk like while they were in King's Landing, but it's still not. You know what I mean? They didn't. It wasn't resolved. Yeah. Are they introducing new characters in this season? Yeah, they're introducing I heard they the were, entire right? Golden Company. Oh my god! The army from uh, the oh, bank. Oh, the bank, the yeah. Iron Bank. Okay. Okay. Oh well, if the, the it's more, just, if it's just more bodies to be fucking cannon That's fodder. That's all it is. It's cannon fodder, yo. At this point, yeah. It's <laughs> What's his name? That other son of a bitch. When did he get this? Yeah. But they all different. Some of them are oh. an hour. Most it's of them are an hour. I think like the other. first two episodes are like an I think hour. The last episodes are be two and hours. And then they're like an hour and a half, hour and a half, two hours. Like this is crazy. It's gonna be like two hours for the last episode. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life after this. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm sad. I'm in mourning. I'm like. What are you doing for, seven for Sunday? Of, I'm doing a premiere. Oh, I'm nice. doing a premiere party. You're more than welcome to come. Thank you. Uh, more than welcome to come. More than welcome. To come. And, um, <laughs> um, you guys, I'm sorry. Say you know. Let's do it, Amy Mean. But, um, and I'm doing, yo. So, I like to have, like, a spread, you know, like, me. What are we doing before the party? And we're going to Medieval Times. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, every, yeah, yeah. every, every, that's every just been, time. every, like, the last four years before Game of Thrones, we gotta hit Medieval Times. Yo, do you own a sword? Like, I feel like you need one. We, like, I am going to own one. <laughs> you don't. I want to Red buy absolutely ice. needs a Scottish Claymore. Red needs like absolutely. <laughs> I want long was there. Yeah. I want well, ice. ice. Was there. I really want ice. ice. They have it. They, and had I, them there. they did. They, they had the did, but there. I don't yeah. know if they still have them. They Shit. would. I mean, I'll say we stocked for now. Especially this Sunday, one of those they better shows, fucking so. yeah, like you said, they better restock this Sunday. Everybody how many, knows how how many so. theme parties do you think are going to be happening for the last thousands? thousands. Oh man, thousands. it's going to be ridiculous. Across the country, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's be a nationwide thing. I and have, how I many pizzas are going to be sold out? Raffle prizes. Well, oh, man, man pizzas are going to close for this day. You might be doing it every week. Pizzas are going to well, no, pizzas pizzas are going to be open early and they're going to close early. Yeah, they're going to be having them shits on the fucking rack. It's like, yeah, take it. And it's going to be the most mediocre pizza you've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. It's true. It's true. I was thinking about basically, it. The, it's, it's like ordering chicken wings on the Super Bowl. You're it's gonna, basically going to be like pies that were made ish. by White Wolf. You, you got to know yourself. like the deli guy and you uh-huh. go to him and be like, yo, Anthony, I'm going to need these like at uh-huh. like 4 o'clock. Yeah, let's yeah. So I'm going to come and get the first batch. Yeah, we're excited. 
Right, it's going to be times sorry, it's hype. It you guys have a good time. I would not want to watch. It. You're right. You're absolutely right. Bars are going to be packed with people yeah, watching I the premiere. Yeah, I want to listen to it. I, 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 yeah, I, I can't be at a bar. A, a bar, bar is with, a sports with, event. Uh, where unless, I can drink, unless that, that bar is free, yeah. whatever. Unless that bar actually has ground rules where it's like, don't talk until after the show. Right. Like, that's, that's, if they just manage to establish something like that, then yeah. I think some places do because if you watch like the reactions, like when people are recording. You can see the crowd like this most of the time, like yeah. covering their mouth. And so they, they did like, like, shut the fuck it. up. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't gonna so be like, like a sporting event like the playoffs, like the hockey playoffs and NBA playoffs are going on right now. Yeah. Like it ain't gonna be like that where you know people just jab in and all that shit. Nah, it's gonna be like these people are dedicated. Everybody shut the fuck up. But right. we got yeah. but there's, 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 there's right. the my premiere party every time. Like it's the same people that come every year, and every oh, year yeah. when I open the door, I'm like, hey guys, I'm so happy to see you. Don't you don't say a fucking word. Shut up. Yes. Yeah, turn your you phone on mute. <laughs> it's, it's like a movie theater in the house. But, but again, right. you, you turn know. the sofas into like movie theater seats. Yes. Nice. But again, with a the bar, there's always that alcohol factor. I'm going to my kids sit down and shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> But with a the bar, there's always that alcohol factor, though. And people, some people just get motor mouth. Yeah. Listen, you... It, and you can get rowdy and cheer at a scene. I'm I'm all sure. for that. Yeah. Same as like going to the movies on opening mm-hmm. day. Cheer for the fucking yeah, scene. Yeah, enjoy Just it. don't be talking theories with your buddy right next to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shut so up until the commercial. What That's we what normally talking. do is we'll watch we'll watch Running the first episode. We'll watch the episode. <laughs> <laughs> we'll watch the episode silently. And then when it's done, we all look at each other like, oh, shit. We got it. Yeah. 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 So again, yeah. and then we're like, that's yeah. what the fuck is wrong. You do your own commentary. Yeah. 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 That's what we do. What we do. We you watch it in its entirety. Yo, I'm, I'm telling totally you now. I'm soak it up. Yeah, we yeah, soak yeah. it up. Enjoy it. And then it's like, restart. <laughs> Can you believe this shit? This motherfucker did that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Please. And like I said, I got raffle prizes. So nice. I oh have God, um, the, the, the Johnny Walker, White Walker. Nice. That's a raffle prize. I have the... You're fucking crazy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> don't, I have, um, don't give away no more bottles of liquor. A <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have a miniature... He needs his happy juice. Red needs his happy Girl, juice. Man. Relax. <laughs> um, I have a miniature, like one for like a desk or wherever you'd like to put it. It's a, a replica of Jon Snow's sword, and it comes with a stand. Yo, yep. oh. I'm throwing and, in for that. Yeah. Yeah. I am throwing in for that. Cute. And um, and then I have an exact replica <laughs> of the Bravosi coin. Nice. Giving that away too. And um, and I'm still picking up some stuff that Red doesn't know about. Damn. So, you know, uh, I got a couple. Got John so Snow's basically, <laughs> who throws the best parties in all of fucking Brooklyn? The Maester. Oh, the oh, Maester. Oh, <laughs> the Maester. Um, you gotta wear yeah. a cloak. I would absolutely oh, wear it. Oh, That's what I'm doing. We went to we a fucking Sherlin's store oh, today. I was like, yo, why the fuck you brought me here? I'm about to get like eight Sherlin's, yo. <laughs> We're gonna have to get you like the Macy's you like, necklace or like whatever, something, something like that. For your, a Deadpool. I thought for whatever reason, like you said, oh, we need a Deadpool. I thought you meant somebody that dresses Deadpool with like the fucking, <laughs> no, no, like no. the Ned Stark. No, no, no. A Deadpool. Yes. A yes. Deadpool. Like actual but Deadpool. actually, Deadpool dressed up as like a maester or like a white Deadpool walker. Deadpool is Ned Stark. Stark. I feel like yeah. somebody must have cosplayed that. That has that happened. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Like but with yeah. the whole, you know, ice and just, just yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, I, I'm gonna after work tomorrow. I plan on doing some running around, some last minute. Yeah, HBO stars. Well, somebody actually did. Yeah. I forget who it was that did it, but I think it was a variant cover of Deadpool where Deadpool is actually sitting on a throne of guns. Ah, uh, nice. yes, I remember that. So yeah. please so tell cool. me. That's iconic. I just I'll, yes. I'll wrap the actually... segment up now. Yeah. With the Night King with the javelin the spear. Yes. Oh, <laughs> and it lands yes. in Ace Ventura's legs. Yes. <laughs> That was good. Whoever made that meme, you win the fucking internet for yes. that week, for this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, fucking classic. I don't want to see the Night King on the throne. I don't want to see Gendry on the throne. Since no. The, well, I'm saying who I don't want to see. Mm-hmm. Here's I'm, what I I'm think upset. is going to be fucking going down. John has no interest really in ruling. Yeah, he, he's never had nah, it. He not, so he just wants he just Danny wants United to survive. could get the throne because Cersei's dead. By Arya's hand slash Jamie's hand, I'm with that. John abdicates the throne. He doesn't want to rule without Danny. He's got yeah. the kid. It's bittersweet because Danny. You think the kid's kid? gonna be born? I'm I think, think the kid gets born no. first. You think nine months happens? If the kid gets born, this season. Yes. If the kid gets oh, born, way, that could that could better come out with like white white hair. 
That kid better have fucking skills. I'm telling you, <laughs> he abdicates the throne, runs into the wilderness to raise the kid, like, you know, as a ranger, whatever the fuck, as a guardian of the wall, whatever has, still has to happen. Mm-hmm. Sansa gets the throne. Sansa gets the throne and Arya gets Winterfell. Arya's the hand. She would have been, but she, they need a no warden way. in the north. That's, I'm just saying that. I don't know who Sansa's but, with. Gen- there must always be a star. Could maybe Gendry. Yeah. Gendry will be her hand. Arya. 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 Arya will be. Here, Arya's here, a start. Here's she my becomes theory. the wardeness of the north. I like that idea. Here's, here's my theory. I think, um, I think Danny winds up dead because I think her and Cersei, their lives are kind of parallel in a way. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. going to witness her all three dragons die. Ooh, her I kids, think. her children. Her children. Oh my god. And that and that's all, just gonna I think cause they'll it. All die. You think they're all gonna die? I think they'll all die. It's yeah. I, I think I think I'm with I you. think that two of the you know, the ice dragon two of the, the dragons are gonna cancel each other out and then somehow Drogon's gonna gonna bite it. At some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but Drogon's gonna be the key to winning. From the from wounds or yeah. some other shit, yeah. So yeah. Ramon said uh, Sansa will never go to King's Landing, but there's the irony of the show is she's back in the one place that drove her to fucking tw- years of torment. And, and only where, half of life was where she really wanted to be, because she always wanted to be a queen. She did always want to be a queen. I think she comes back yeah. to King's Landing. It's ironic, yeah. Yep. She comes back to King's Landing. Either that or I really would yeah. not be upset if Lady Mormont just won the whole fucking <laughs> thing. She yeah. deserves it. Word. Yeah. And if we don't get to see this little girl on a bear she gotta this fight. season... She's got to kick ass. Yes. <laughs> they got to show her kick your ass. I need to see her on a giant ass grizzly. <laughs> that would be dope. Yeah. That would be dope. Will happen the to bear, all the. the, the bear, she's a fucking. Will happen to all the Dothraki. She's a badass sense. in all those fucking North meetings. You know, it's <laughs> kind of funny too because it's it's the. Yo, bear maybe the bear. John goes to. Ramon just said what happens to all the Dothrakis if Danny's dead. Maybe John goes to lead the fucking Dothrakis. To what where? the fuck? I don't fucking to fight know. The White Walkers. John only really cares about the White Walkers. They go to you find some oh, sun and maybe show these motherfuckers where the beach is for the love of God. The <laughs> blood <laughs> is not cursed, you dumb fucks. Uh, go uh, have a swim. <laughs> They need, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. There's what happens with the mountain and the hound? Oh, the, the game bowl. bowl. That has to happen. We have to get that this season. Yeah, we have to. We have to. That has to happen. <laughs> yeah, like you. I, 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 if There's nothing so else, we have to find out how bro. the fuck is he still alive? How is he a zombie? He's like, like is he a zombie? Like, yeah, he's like Bane, Frankenstein. Whatever yeah. the fuck you want to call it. Pretty much. We gotta see him without the helmet. He's gotta look all fucking Frankenstein out. You saw yeah. Greg uh, breaking our news set. That fucking the history of how yeah, we got that how we got the role. Sick man. Yo, it's apparently on ESPN Sunday morning. Yeah. <laughs> Go and Game check this out. It's how course. Thor Bjornsson got the fucking role as the mountain, yeah. and they were just like, "Yo, there's this huge dude in Iceland." Uh, why don't you go take a look at him? And he's like, I've never acted before. They just called me. I think it's fake. And then, <laughs> he's like, I get an email from HBO. I'm like, fuck no. that. And I've heard, I've heard <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he said somebody had to literally come get him and be like, please, come to the come interview. Come with us. Oh my God. Come with us to audition. But what did they please. say on the interview? Oh, it was like, you're the one. But before oh, that, what was the up, test? Right? Yeah. Pick him up. Pick the <laughs> man up. And he, and he just lifted a regular man like nothing. And they were like, oh my god. Yep, it's you. You're hired. This guy's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that picture of him holding a mug. And it said, this is a picture of a regular mug in his hand. It was like a teacup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's gigantic. He looks like he had like a stroke or yeah, no like, yeah, or something. Yeah, it was a little off yeah. in the interview. Yeah. I don't know, man. He could he's do that. fucking killed that shit, yo. I don't Doesn't think he, he does. Also, he's yeah, killing his so role. I was just going to say, I think he has two brothers, and they're just... They're bigger than him. Jesus Christ. It's like some Andre <laughs> shit. That's like the... Yeah. That's like the Viking lineage. Those are the dudes that <laughs> stormed the beaches yeah. and took over shit. That's yo. why people was like... Pillage and plunder. Yeah. Those, <laughs> those, yeah. those are the descendants of the Vikings. Those yeah. motherfuckers, yo. <laughs> I want to thank our Grand Maester Liz for coming through, and we look forward to seeing you every week, every other week at least. Yeah. Something you know, new episodes. Just a touch yeah. base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can wrap up like... and do like wrap up like uh, recap episodes yeah, and yeah, predictions. Yeah, we could do. Yeah. 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 Listen, I'm here all week, so if you want to do it beforehand, you guys just let me know. There's a reason oh, it's hey, called Pete's Basement. Gotta Pete get her a lives. In the whole house, <laughs> not just the I basement, swear, but the whole guys, house. I don't want to disappoint you, but like, like I said, I don't have the books anymore. The maester needs the books. 
like mm. a sword needs its whetstone, like, and I just don't have them anymore. Quick, so, Robin, to the Amazon movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I might go this season. I may go from the Maze of Brooklyn to the Jon Snow Brooklyn because I won't know shit at some point. But <laughs> well, we like, always enjoy talking to you anyway because you're yeah, so emphatic. Just, you know, <laughs> it's it's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm not expecting a happy ending, like Ramsey over here said. I'm, so. I'm hoping for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, thank you for having me, You're and welcome. we are gonna tap out. And Understandable. Yeah. We're gonna tap in our good man Cheeseburger. Hey. Come on over. Oh, you gotta yeah, control yeah, yourself. Yeah, you gotta control yourself. Brother, until next time. Always a good time. Let's see. Hey, Let's you see, man. You too. Peach Basement is copyrighted 2019. Ripped Productions. All rights reserved, so go fuck yourself.